Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. With Cyclone Vayu predicted to make landfall in Gujarat in the next 24 hours, many of you must have wondered how these storms get their names and what is the difference between the cyclones that hit India and the hurricanes that thrash the North American continent. Well, hurricanes, typhoons and cyclones are all the same. They just have different scientific names in different parts of the world. Cyclones were usually not named, but that changed about a hundred years ago. The reason to name cyclones was to identify them quickly as it was faster to remember short and distinctive names than numbers. Earlier, storms were named randomly, but to make things more organized, meteorologists decided to identify storms using names from a prearranged list. There is a strict procedure to determine a list of cyclone names. The tropical cyclone regional body of each ocean basin come up with numerous names at their meetings, and after keeping in mind all the rules, the team finalizes the names. It was in the year 2000 the World Meteorological Organization agreed to assign names to the cyclones in the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. The naming of cyclones over the North Indian Ocean started from September 2004. The eight littoral countries along the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea, which are Bangladesh, India, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Thailand suggest names that have been sequentially listed. According to this rule, Bangladesh suggested O'Neill, the first in the list which made landfall in 2004. Of the 64 names suggested by these eight countries, 57 have been utilized till date. Cyclone Fatai, suggested by Thailand, made landfall in 2018. This time was India's turn and the country had suggested the name Vayu. And the next cyclone will be named Cyclone Kyar, given by Myanmar.